Welcome to the Manage Business Partners and Items video. This video shows you how to Manage Business Partner and Item List Views Add a new customer master data Edit an existing customer record and Create activity for an item master data The most valuable asset for my company is our customers. When clicking the Business Partners tile, the Customers List view appears as default. I can change the default view if needed. Lately, we decided to expand and sell abroad. I want to see the status of our due foreign customers, so I filter the list by account balance greater than zero and exclude local currency business partners. I group the list by currency and choose OK. The number of filters in groups appear above the table. I can click here to cancel a filter or group selection. When exporting this customized list to Excel, the structure including the grouping will be reflected in the Excel file. I save this view for future use and choose Public so other users can consume it as well. I also save the view as a tile for easy access. I have a new customer I need to enter to the system. I choose the Create Business Partner tile. I enter the customer code and name. I navigate to the Address tab. I can change the displayed columns and their sequence by clicking the Settings icon. I click the Add icon to enter the bill to address details. The customer has another bill to address. The default Bill to Address is also the Ship to Address of this customer, so I choose the Bill to Address line and click to copy it to the Ship to Address table. I can edit the Address ID or any other field in the Copied Address line. The Payment Terms definition derives from the Customer Default Payment Term defined in SAP Business One. I can change the details. I can choose the properties of this customer and review the selected ones. I add the customer record. I would like to update the details of a customer to view the details of a specific business partner. I click its row. I can navigate between Business Partner Master Data Records using the navigation buttons. Related activities are linked here with an indication on the number of activities related to this customer. I want to update the details of the customer, so I choose Edit. The details that can be updated are framed. The header part presents all the balances and cannot be edited. Under the User Defined Fields tab, I see the fields defined for business partners in SAP Business One. I enter the relevant value and save the changes. Next, I go to the Manage Items list.
we want to announce a summer sale on items with near Active 2 date. So, I add the Active 2 field to the list view. And sort by it in descending order. I want to make sure we include this item in the summer sale. I drill down to the item master data and create an activity for it. The activity form appears in add mode with the preferred vendor of the item populated in the business partner field and the item code appearing on the linked document tab. I choose the activity type. I enter the details and set the priority. I check the reminder box. After adding the activity, the selected user will get a notification regarding this activity. With the items by warehouse view, I can easily check the quantity of our items in the company warehouses. This was the Manage Business Partners and Items video. Thanks for watching.